Well, I thought I'd get back into the dining room in my usual spot and do this Dollar Tree haul. Before I do though, I wanna thank everyone for your well wishes and prayers for Jan, my family members, for me. We need to be doing it for everyone. And thank you for all the comments on uh, the video where I showed the meds last night. Uh, I'm doing better. I'm getting the heart, trying to get a little answer here and there. And it helps other people too because I see y'all communicate between each other. And that's what my channel's about. It's not so much about what I buy, what I show. It's spending time with you all trying to put a smile on your face. Because <laughs> there's always something that we can be happy about, the majority of the time. I know that a lot of people have issues that um, bring them down so far. I do know uh, one of my mom's friends, one of Omi's friends, just lost her son, and she's pretty much chair-bound and going through a deep depression I've kept from going over there because of where I've been sick, but I told mom I'm gonna go check on her. So hopefully in the next day or two after I get checked out more, I will go check on her. Because we need to, as people, keep an eye on each other. And I know a lot of us can't leave home. A lot of us have our own health issues, but sometimes even just picking up the phone like, Mom did talking to her friend yesterday. I think it was yesterday. It helps lift spirits. But I'm here for a Dollar Tree haul. It's odds and ends. It really is. Um, I went like four times. I think I went first, second, third, and fourth of January. I don't think I've been any more since then. I might go tomorrow because I have to be out and there's a Dollar Tree close by that Usually has all the really good breads that, you know, are 5 and $6 at the store. I've got one specialty bread left in my freezer. I need to stock up. I need some bagels. Yeah. And so if I can find some, I will stock up on those because I can put them in the freezer. And like when they don't have a lot, you know, I'm good to go for a few months. One of the things I continue buying at the... Dollar Tree is the Sanko, Sanko Quick Oats, one pound, non-GMO, 100% vegan. I like the old-fashioned oats because I like a little chew. And the old-fashioned oats in this, Omi says she's not a real big fan of, only because I, don't, I think she's cooking it per directions. If you want it a little bit more tender, you have to cook it longer. It's a little bit... Um, what do you call farmer? I guess that's how you would say it. I love the quick, I mean, I love the old-fashioned oats. So I do mine in the microwave and I just double the minutes that I use. But old-fashioned, I, I mean, uh, quick oats, I told her to try those. They may be just a tad better for what she wants. She doesn't like the real intense uh, taste. I mean, not taste, but the the chew of it, the firmness of it, which I do. I like a lot of texture in my food. I don't like everything to be bland. And that's why I like when I use quick oats, I like to put raisins, sometimes raisins and nuts. I like to have something I can bite down into. But they're still carrying them in all the stores that I know of. And like I told mom, we don't have to do anything with it. We can just put it in the pantry or put it in a bucket and it'll last for a long, long time. This one says eight of 25, 25. So a year and a half. May have to stock up on more. I am. May have to stock up on more. But I thought I'd show you these. They are a repeat purchase for me. Something I'll continue buying as long as they have it. And uh, for me, they're good. I've already showed those another haul and didn't put them up yet. Shame on me. I don't have many more food items here. But I do have the onion soup and dip mix. You can do so much 
with onion soup mix. I like using it in meatloaf. Say I don't have onions. I usually have onion powder. I have onion flakes. Not normally always the onion raw. You know what I'm saying, from the fresh produce because especially right now with me not going to the store as much, I'm using what's out of my pantry. I love this in meatloaf. And this actually has an onion soup mix, an onion dip, onion and avocado dip, and a meatloaf with peppers and onions. I believe the next time I do a meatloaf, which has to be soon, Omi's done told me, she said, will you make me a meatloaf? I said, yeah, come right on. She said, I can't come right now. So she made her own meatloaf. I told her I'd make one and put it in the freezer for her. And I can take it to her when I get to see her, but I think I'm gonna do that recipe. But it's three, it's called Continental Chef. Dry in a cool place. Let me see how good to April of 25, so over a year, way over a year. So I bought one more of those while they had it in stock. Another thing I like getting at the Dollar Tree is their brown gravy mix. I use it repeatedly because a lot of times when I'm in a quick hurry, I can uh, make one of them brown gravy mixes, take a meat like the roast I have in the freezer, thaw it out that's cooked, add the gravy mix and have a quick meal, have roast beef and gravy over toast, over mashed potatoes, you know, just anything. And that's how I've been cooking here lately. Like I said, there's probably gonna be some stuff. I said it in another hall, not here. It might be missing because I really, I know I had quite a few sweets in the last haul, but it was intentional. Cherry pies for my husband. A few little things for when the kids come over, which right now we've not been having a whole lot of that. I got a, I got a horn. My husband would call that a horn. But the other night when I wasn't feeling well, I actually used, um, uh, uh, I haven't showed it to you. Hot dogs from the Dollar Tree. What I did, I fried them up. I always slice mine because I like the caramelization. I fried them up, uh, heated up some chili. I opened a can, no shame in it. And I already had the buns from when I had bought extra for Eli's uh, little birthday gift to get, birthday gift, <laughs> get together that we had at Michelle so he'd have a few friends with him his cousins with them before he started back to school. So I had those and had a bag of these. Wise's golden potatoes, honey barbecue, three and a half ounces. It says it's 3.5 servings. Yeah, it could give us all some chips to go with the hot dogs. And a, I flipped open a can of pork and beans. <laughs> That's how I've been doing lately, that or sandwiches. So that was, that was good. They don't have my ketchup chips right now in, in the hers brand. I only found them one time and I bought up, what, nine or 10 packs. That's been a while back. They're gone. But I do like the barbecue flavored potato chips. So today, it's evening. I don't even know what time it is. My clock's never right. It has to be after four. Uh, I started getting hungry because I normally, I don't normally get hungry at about three, four o'clock. So I opened these and just took a little handful of them because my husband took Eli to uh, his regular doctor appointment just to check up. And uh, he said, Angie, don't cook. I'll bring something back. And of course I said, yes. <laughs> But I had to have a little bit of something. And it says this is three servings. And for a dollar and a quarter, you know when you go to, like, the convenience stores. I've said it many, many times. They're a lot higher. So I got those. And I believe I've already gifted on me a set of these. And I found them again. I, I think I gifted on me a set of these. There was something I thought I'd gifted our daughter for Christmas and come to find out. She didn't get hers, but my sister got hers. I said, I know I held a conversation about it. I could hear the details in my head. I had the wrong two people. <laughs> it wasn't my 
daughter and daughter-in-law. It was my mom and my sister. But I got some. It's compared to Olay Regenerist Cream Cleanser by Be Pure. And I know all of Olay goes for a lot more than this. A couple of years ago, I think Michelle gave me a set with the cream and the moisturizer and stuff. So I got one of those. And the only other thing I've seen comparable to all of Olay was the Hydrate Night Cream. I'm gonna, I'm keeping this one, not gifting it out. <laughs> I need attention on my face. You know, it's getting colder weather and I feel sorry for all of you all that live in really cold climates. We're actually gonna get down to five or nine next week at night. I heard somebody say, well, we're getting down to uh, minus 25. And I thought, oh no, I'm going to stay in the south. I could, I would go a little bit more south, except I love where I'm at. So I just stay bundled up, stay where I'm at. But I need, you know, your face does need more attention, I think, in the wintertime. So this is a cream cleanser. So for, before I go to the doctor, maybe I ought to do this. <laughs> maybe she'll think I'm anti-aging. <laughs> I don't know. So, I'm going to set these out, and that way I can use those. Hopefully, I'll remember tomorrow. Sherry was with me when I bought this. <coughs> I bought another one. I thought... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I bought another one a few weeks back, and actually, I've not used it yet. don't even know where it's at. Could I put it in a gift bag? I might have. I don't know. This is going to go with that. It's a makeup correcting gel. Instantly corrects makeup mistakes on brows. <coughs> Sorry about that. I still got a little bit of a hack. Maybe my doctor can fix that too. <laughs> but this makeup correcting gel pen. I needed it one day. I used some stuff on my eye that I thought was a light color. It come out almost as dark as these clips are. My husband and Eli was laughing. I tried to get it off just regularly. Yeah, it didn't work. And I used something else on it, and I was going to show y'all. I might talk about another haul, but I think it dried my eyes out. I think so. If I find it before this video, I'll show it to you and see if any of y'all have used it. So I quit using it for that reason, but I thought, boy, I sure could have used this gel pen to get all that darkness out. I think I had it on there for like two, three days. <laughs> I looked like a clown. But I left, yeah, this one, when I cleaned it up, had some of it off. This one had all of it on. And when they come home, they cracked up. So I got one of those to help me. I buy coconut oil. And uh, I know my sister's gotten some from me. Kenny's used some from me. I don't really know if I've ever used it for myself. But they had personal care. Didn't just say coconut oil. It said moisturizing cream with vitamin E. Made with natural, natural coconut oil. Is this new in the store? Or have I just missed it? Because like I said, I buy the regular coconut cream. Coconut oil cream. And I should have brought one of them out. I'm not thinking today. So I got one of those. That's going to go in my personal stash for the new year. I got something sitting there. Got to put that flipped out. I better put that back. Uh, talking about my eyebrows being dark. I keep it together. I don't. <laughs> I wish I lived up to the name of these clips. I keep it together. But when we went to Kingsport back in September, uh, we met a nice mother and daughter couple at a restaurant we were eating at. And she was, uh, I guess, talking about hair and stuff. And I told her how getting new growth right here, no matter how I pin it, it wants to fall down. And she came back in the restaurant and gave me a clip. They were a little bit smaller than this one. Matter of fact, I think I'm... She gave me this like this, which you can find at the Dollar Tree. And uh, so I lose them, just like I lose everything else. But for a dollar and a quarter, the only ones they had this time was the I Keep It Together by Sleek. 
they designed in the USA and uh, made in China. So I got one of these. And there are 10 clips. I wish I could keep it together. I, I didn't even know it said that until I got ready to do the haul. And I thought, oh, I wish I could keep it together. But I bought another extension cord because mine keep disappearing. I have to use them in here or wherever I'm recording a lot. So I'll have enough room to... I put up, as you'll see, kind of right here the part of it, ring light, so maybe I look a little brighter today, but a lot of times, I have to use extension cords, and for a dollar and a quarter, for a six foot, which is usually more than enough that I need, I went ahead and got another one, don't know where they go, they disappear, it's like socks, socks disappear, I'm buying socks all the time, uh, what else disappears, I might think of it later, something else a lot of stuff disappears around here. I bought one of these to show you all, but I gifted some at Christmas time in different little gift baskets. It's the Sure Fresh Parchment Square Papers, 100 sheets. It's a different brand than the ones I had that I gifted out. I know only got one, one pack of 100. But for a dollar and a quarter, you can use it to separate breads, meats, anything you need to when you need to put them in the refrigerator, a freezer, I mean. And uh, so I bought one more of these. Hopefully I'll use these instead of giving them out <laughs> or losing them. Sometimes I misplace them. I put stuff up. Then I hunt for it. Then I can't find it. Are y'all like that? I'm like that. They have... Uh, different laundry detergents and stuff in the smaller bottles that are name brand. I think they have like Tide. They have uh, Gain. And I think those are great for when you go like to um, laundry mats. We went to a thrift store the other day, Sherry and I did, and I said, Sherry, if you need to use the restroom, you'll have to go next door to the laundry mat because they didn't have a bathroom where we were at. She came back out and she said, you know, the one thing I like about laundry mats is the smell. And that's true. Don't know if they had the detergent in this, but I bought some Gaines fabric softener. Yeah, I buy the Suavitel. I love Downy Snuggles. But I love the smell of Gain. And uh, about the only thing I put laundry detergent in is stuff like that I wear or that Kenny might wear that static picks, especially in the wintertime. You know how static does. I just wanted some for me to put in my clothes so I can smell gain. Are y'all like that? I love gain. Oh, I love downy, but I got the gain this time. What else did I do? I found when I was decluttering, and I'm still debating on how much longer I'll use them, and you'll hear about that in another video, but I found some more of these select your fragrance warmers. But I must have thrown out the holder. Because after so long, when you use them, you know, the top builds up with crud and you wash it. But it gets on the inside and then I think, I think I just want a fresh one. So I bought one to go with the ones I found. I think they were Hawaiian. I can't remember what, they were kind of a citrusy smell. So, I thought, well, I'll get one, just one, because like I said, I'm debating on how much longer I will use them. I'll use up what I have. I've got a lot. I bought a lot at Home Depot one year, and I don't think I ever showed them to you that were, um, I forget how many in a pack, and I got such a great deal on it. I think I bought three of them, but I'm learning. Sometimes when stuff's scented, if you keep it way, way too long, the scent value kind of goes down. So, like I said, I just bought one of those. Uh, bought these. I know I was talking in last night's video about medicines, and I say I do get stuff at the Dollar Tree. One thing I bought that I think is a newer brand of it, which got Eli and Kenny both through uh, the illnesses we went back through in December, 
It's like Pedialyte, you know, the name brand. But this one's called Paralyte, Electrolyte Solution, Tropical Fruit. And I had, a, I think, a grape one. And instead of getting one of the older bottles out, they wanted to try it. They made me drink this one last night. Yeah. I, they said, you need some hydration. And I'll tell you, it was good. The only thing is, I would want it cold. This one had been sitting here on the table to show you. And that I told Kenny, I said, I actually like it a little bit better than Gatorade. So I did drink all this. The taste wasn't bad. It actually did help me some. I've got two doctors in the family. I got Dr. Papa and Dr. Eli. He was doctoring me last night. And that boy's intelligent. He was telling me stuff I knew but I wasn't following, you know, and I said, Eli, you're so smart. He was just rattling off these facts. He can make a doctor. So I got that. And one thing I was going to show you, I don't know if I showed these to you. This would have been in the food section if I had. They've got all kinds of Pillsbury icings that are in colors. I know you can add food color to any vanilla frosting, did I show you these in another haul? I can't remember because even though I'm trying to do a lot better about putting stuff up, sometimes things get kind of moved around or somebody will take something out because they want to ask me about it. Green vanilla, St. Patrick's Day. I can picture making a cake with green vanilla. And aqua blue vanilla. Eli's favorite color. Top blue mouth, green mouth. We'll have all colors mouth. I might come on here sometime and you'll say, Angie, what's wrong with your tongue? It's green. <laughs> I think I'll do these with cupcakes because Eli loves cupcakes. But I thought I'd show you price-wise, I think it's comparable like to Walmart and places because you only get 10 ounces in this one, I think is what I remember. Good to October 23rd or 24th. It'll be gone way before then. And I was talking about we were going to talk some meds that I get at the Dollar Tree. I was actually going to round up some that I know came from the Dollar Tree that we've used over and over again. Haven't got around to it. Had to make another emergency stop last night. Yeah. But... I pulled these out because the the new Emergency Apple Cider Vinegar Daily Immune Boost and Botanicals. There's 10 pouches in it. You add liquid. I've been taking the pill, you know, the capsules or tablets. Um, I think you, put, you can do four, five, or six ounces, caffeine-free, vegetarian, gluten-free, but it has so many... Uh, good values in it that I went ahead and pulled it out and today I'm going to start using these instead. I've got like uh, I bought like six packs when I found them. So 18 times six. It'll last me a good, what, three months get me through the worst of the cold season. I would share them with Eli or Kenny if they want to use them. But I already got my water out. Yeah, don't go in the whole bottle. And I'm going to take one of these and see. You know, you can't tell a difference right away. You have to keep trying. I'll tell you what the taste is like once I use it. It says it's apple flavored. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to set these out. <coughs> that way, when I'm clearing off the table, I'll remember that I was going to take them. But I guarantee you these are so much more expensive in the store. And I had showed them in a, another haul. I was trying to see where they were made. I don't see. And I thought I looked for expiration. May of 24. They'll, they'll be gone before they go bad. You know, flu and cold seasons here. So I, I thought I'd show you that. I bought, in another haul, I show you the headache medicine I get a lot of times when I'm at the Dollar Tree or times the decongestants I showed in last night's video. There's a lot of them at the Dollar Tree. They were in four ounce bottles, but it's still a good deal for your family, especially when 
you're trying to cut costs, you know, with winter time, electricity goes up, everything goes up. Then if you're sick, you're buying extra stuff because what if you need this, that, or that, or you just can't eat and you just need something different. Yeah, so that. Let me tell you what I ate last night because I haven't had much of an appetite. And if you find these and you like spring rolls, I would suggest getting them. I ate four. <laughs> then I went back to, for the other four. The boys won't touch them. But I went back for the other four, and that was pretty much my supper last night. I air from, and it's the Jennifer's Garden Spring Rolls. I've got to be on lookout for these. I might have one more pack. I don't know. If I find them, I'm about like 10 packs. I, I've made room in my freezer, eating out of my freezer the past couple of months to buy some of the stuff that I really like. Do y'all do that? I had, to, I had to put a stop to doing a lot of grocery shopping because I tend to bring stuff in and the way my energy level and my thought process goes a lot of times, I'll use what I bring in and I don't go search for it in my pantry. This has made me use a lot of stuff out of my pantry. Good food, good food, good food in the freezer. I don't want it to go bad. I'd rather save that money go thrifty <laughs> or stock up on some other stuff, which I will have to do pretty soon. There's a few items, not many, not a necessity, but I want to stock up on these. I hope you enjoyed this chaotic Dollar Tree haul. That's all I have for now. And I might have another one coming up because like I said, I plan on going hopefully to the Dollar Tree in Powell, Tennessee tomorrow. Don't know what time. But I got one down on Emory Roads where I usually get the don Edamon Donuts, um, the rye bread, you know, all the good stuff that I'm not going to pay 5 and $6 for. So I'm hoping they'll have a few of those items. And who knows if I'm up to it, I may take a quick walk-through video of all the stuff they're coming out with for Valentine's Day and springtime. Yeah, they're doing, and Easter. I think I even seen some Easter, if I remember correctly. Uh, how are y'all's dollar stores doing? We have some that haven't stocked up a whole lot, and one that I seen was pretty much ready to go. So, uh, I'm going to get off here for now. Like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thank you a lot, and until next time, we'll talk soon.